uh, in the present era meniscus repair has become a very successful surgery and nowadays we are repairing a more and more numbers of meniscus tear and these sort of tears uh, whenever they are repaired are amenable to uh, healing so previously the number of meniscectomies that we used to do has now been reduced significantly this had been aided by specific new devices which have been developed and this has helped a lot to the patient because the chances of osteoarthritis progression is reduced once we are doing a very good meniscus repair so one such newer advancement or new device is called as a fiber stitch device this device is by arthrex and it comes in four different variation there are some particular features about this product one it is an all inside implant second it is an all suture implant so there is no plastic or metal material inside the implant itself it comes in four variations you have a 12 degree up 12 degree reverse curve one straight options and one 24 degree up option so there are lots many options to choose from from the surgeon now uh, the technical aspect so it's a very easy uh, procedure easy, easy procedure or easy technically easy to use a fiber stitch implant so when you uh, when you see that implant comes like this so this is the fiber stitch implant in the packing so we just have to open it up uh, and then so this is the original implant this one and this one and once we open it we unbox it it comes up like this now this is a 12 degree implant 12 degree curved up implant now there are some particular features the handle is very ergonomic uh, there are markings here by which you can actually change the depth of penetration from 10 millimeters to 18 millimeters so here you can see it's 18 millimeters and you can reduce it to about 10 millimeters here okay and you can just vary it 12 millimeters 16 millimeters and 18 millimeters so this is the depth of penetration which we can adjust you can use it by use of a, a half pipe and this is the deployment trigger so you have to press it forward once and backward once to deload the anchor another important uh, thing which which we should understand about this implant is this is an all suture implant which is a generation ahead of the peak implant systems which are available in the market so the peak implant basically uh, have a knot on the top of the meniscus whereas in this particular implant the knot will be sitting on the back side of the meniscus and that is why there is nothing which can rub onto the surface so now about the technical aspect it's pretty simple you just have to focus the area where you need to deploy it you push it in the uh, uh, device is gone in we have already adjusted the depth spot and then we have to uh, uh, press the trigger back this will fire the implant in and then we have to take it like this okay so this will actually uh, fire the implant and we have to take it back slowly now we penetrate the second uh, implant like this okay and then we fire it like this and fire it back uh, out you you can see that there are two implants which are sitting on the back and then there are three loops this is the first loop here which you can appreciate okay and this is the second loop which you can appreciate and then there is a wire like this okay so now there are three loops the smaller loop the bigger loop and the pulling wire okay now what we want is we want both of these uh, uh, fiber stitch anchors to actually sit flush on the back of the meniscus so for that what we need is we need to pull this loop and this wire together so when we do that so when we do that so we need to pull these wires together and this together and when we do that okay you can see that the both of the meniscus implants are tensioned on the posterior part of the knee and it becomes a omega so this you can see one omega here and one omega here okay so what we can appreciate is when you pull the outer bigger loop the inner loop will cinch and both the implant 
will make an omega on the back and this lead to a very solid fixation of the implant at the posterior aspect of knee and the important thing here which, which you realize is the knot is also on the back side you can see a small knot here so the knot in between the two implants is also on the back side of the knee it is not on the front side of the knee so what we do here now is we pull keep this tension and then we will pull the second knot when we do that this meniscus both the loops will be tensioned properly and this is the way the meniscus repair will look so here you will see a very good meniscus repair both the anchors on that uh, anchors omega uh, shaped here the knot is on the back there is nothing on the meniscus side and you can see that when we tension this implant there is nothing on the uh, joint size and this gives a very nice purchase and very nice repair uh, after the fiber stitch repair implantation. So this is one of our preferred devices for all inside all suture meniscus repairs.